Once again, I'm Darren Flasher, our very own prodigal son. I am here with Mike Got Spiked. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Sorry. Dave's getting too excited here. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> Darren's got lovely hair, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, we know we know who in the band likes me, but okay, gentlemen, introduce yourselves for anybody out in the world that has not been acquainted with Mike. I'm Gavin. Sparkle. I'm the lead singer. Uh, <laughs> I like to touch little girls. I like to bond myself sometimes. All right, and here in America, they've got like a show that bus guys doing that. So just be careful. Oh, okay. So do you have to be serious when we're talking about like? Right I don't here? care. Come on, you've seen most of the stuff I've done here. Hi, uh, I'm Johnny, and I put my fist through windows and uh, eat. Um, Eat, uh, <laughs> What's the end of this sentence going to go with like <laughs> Russian dump popsicles? <laughs> dump popsicles. Not bad. Nice. Uh, Hi, my name's Dave. I'm the drummer, and I uh, uh, I look gay, but I'm really not. Um, you know, a lot of people question my sexuality, and that's cool because you know experimentation is fun in the world we live in. And uh, yeah, just like to say hi to my girlfriend because she's so awesome and she loves me and she's great. She bought me this hat uh, and she cut my hair before we came on the show. So love you, baby. So what you're saying is you're a trisexual. You'll yes. try anything. Yes, indeed. He's a trianosaurus. He's <laughs> a sexual trianosaurus. Sexual trianosaurus. Uh, Who are you, dude? I got introduced myself. <laughs> so, hi, uh, my name's Colin. I'm a friend of the band. Um, <laughs> You just moved here, didn't you? Yeah, we came here like two days ago and bumped into these people, and it's been fun. All right, so there you have it. Uh, if you really want to figure out who the hell they are, you can catch them on their MySpace. It's just myspace.com forward slash Mike Got Spiked, right? That's it. MySpace is dead, though. Yeah. Well, but you got an actual website, too. You guys are really yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah. Right. www.mikegotspiked.com. Wait a minute. It's yeah. www.mikegotspiked, not got Mike, because that's kind of like Spike, got Mike. Yeah. Wobbly 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 MikeGotSpike.com Mike You're fine on Facebook you know. And Twitter And YouTube And Goog- Blast YouTube and, uh, Blast FM yeah. Google works as well And Flash Rock Of course Because you can also catch them For the uh, Flash Rock of July performances They did At our most recent Flash Rock of July They've been several nights For radio So you can catch up Catch out Catch up That Oh. Uh, uh, catch up Thank you Thank you very yeah, much I got the stone. Irishman Told me how to speak American <laughs> Catch up on uh, on the radio nights that came with some great songs. Not to mention, uh, as you noticed, Lorraine uh, Mucker was in the webcast as well, and you can check out uh, the stuff she's got going on there as well. Fourth of July and radio nights. We'll steal your talents. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were free and, and clear. Uh, no, I still got you in it. <laughs> Her reputation is ruined. All right, well, let's let's get right down to it. Last time you guys came in, it was very rock and it was very hard. It was very electric. But uh, this time you guys came in with a little bit more mellower, and as we were saying, I don't know if they caught it on tape, but yeah, kind of more of like a Floyd vibe going on. Give me, give me some. Uh, what's up? Well, here we we're, we're, see. We're, we're well, I'm a grunge fan, big fan of grunge in the '90s, and that music was flawed, man. You know, flawed. It had flaws to it. You know, people made and mistakes. Grunge or Floyd? Up. Uh, even Floyd made mistakes, man. You know what I mean? But it was perfect. They, you know, it was perfect. Perfect uh, mistakes. So basically, yeah. you know, from the MTV uh, unplugged genre uh, years and years ago, uh, the vibe was so good and modern music fucking blows. <laughs> you know, Thank you. it's all digitally corrected and, and uh, we're not big fans of that. So we wanted to get back to grassroots and do something that was focusing on vibe over anything else. You know what I mean? And we allow ourselves to be a little bit loose, maybe a little bit out of tune on the vocals here and there. As long as the vibes are. That's on purpose, yeah. As long as the vibe's good. Well, it's not. I miss to be out of key. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. So we uh, we played a show when this set up uh, about six months ago in Cat Club in Hollywood, and we recorded it, and uh, we're finally bringing it out as a live album at the moment. Okay, so there is a live. There's, album It's a whole now. gig of thirteen songs done in the the style of stuff we just did there, and Lorraine guests on it, and uh, nice Tom X Jekyll member is on it as well, and Shane as well also. Yeah, it's all from Jekyll. Yeah. Well, you brought into the last radio night you guys showed up. You brought an EP with, with four tracks. Yeah. I guess from the upcoming album. That, that's right? a teaser. There, there's more. Well, I saw. Just, just, just putting an inch in and then taking it out again. Yeah. Well, I saw it was like a limited edition too, so that's yeah. going to be kind of like a collector's edition. Yeah. Only a hundred ever, ever made, made. made, ever will be made. But yeah, so we're releasing this this new acoustic album on iTunes and Rhapsody and all, you know everything all, everything digital on the 23rd of April. If you, anybody wants a free song, we'll uh, get you a free song that we didn't play here tonight. Uh, so just email us at Mike Got Spiked Promotions at nice. gmail.com That's Mike Got Spiked Promotions at gmail.com We'll send you a free song, JPEG of the cover, and 
you know, pictures of our balls and, you know. Wow. We're Dude, you debatable. never make good on that fucking yeah. claim. I will. How many pictures of your balls have you actually pointed I just, out? Yeah, well, you see, my girlfriend's in, in <laughs> Ireland, so, uh, you know, I have no reason to shave my balls, and I just don't want to send pictures out there of hairy balls. Oh, so yeah, you, you want them to be yeah. nice shorn balls. So when I get home to Ireland, I'll give them an L shave, and I'll have an L bath so they hang nice and low. Looks and like a guy with a big beard and a weird nose. Oh, we're going to have a competition <laughs> to find out which whose balls it is, actually. It's a pick and mix, you know, mix and match. Balls. So there's going to be like four <laughs> pictures of balls, and above yeah. those pictures are going to be like your four uh, faces, mix, mix and match. but they're mixed up, yeah. so you got to yeah. like figure out which ball goes And then we which. might even go as far to do as a left and right ball, and then you have to like... Did you say mix and, and mix and match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball with the other ball with the face, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah, so... Or something like that. <laughs> Endless hours of fun, you can imagine. Yes, yeah, check it out. We should bring out the board game of that as well. It'll be available in all the time. Guess who? You know, I'm kind of it's surprised it's not me that's Ooh. actually bringing up the topic of balls yeah. or something like totally. I like titties. Don't get me wrong. Or titties. I'm just, uh, yeah, wow, man. We don't want to come these over. Are, these are gentlemen sexy. after my own heart. <laughs> All right, so you got the live album coming yeah. out, but what about the people that want, you know, kind the of heavy studio fucking... produced, like, you know? Yeah, we're, doing, we're actually recording a full-on studio album at the moment, and it'll be hard, heavy, aggressive. You'll hear, actually, some of the some of the stuff we did there tonight as well. That you'll hear the heavy version of that, like this, the acoustic version. You were saying we'll some of the yet. songs are actually there. That was just an acoustic form, but yeah. you've got them slotted for the album in the actual... Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, they're rearranged. And they're you know we've changed the style and the feel and some of the vocals and things for, just for an acoustic setting. And then when you hear them live, they're heavier, more aggressive. Changed some of the rhythms have been changed, the patterns, drum patterns, stuff like that. See, know? not many bands do that today. It's like they've got their song in whatever format it is, and that's it. It's I think it's really cool the way you guys can kind of I mean take what you've already created and make it so malleable that you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want with it's, it. It's called musical prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a necessity as well, because um, trying to play in L.A. and trying to break the live music scene in L.A., a lot of rock bands are right there, and there's a lot of people, a lot of money, and yeah. big promotions behind them, and it's very, very hard to actually make a living in L.A. trying to play well, live rock music. There's so many musicians here and so many bands here that if somebody says, you know, you're in a band, is it? Cool, play me something. It's like, uh, uh. It's like, yeah, we, you, we can grab an acoustic guitar and a djembe drum and we can play one of our songs. You got, you got to be versatile. And also, um, my attitude to the, the new music scene, which no longer relies on any majors, is that lots of independent labels are, you know, gathering power and taking back the power from the major labels. But the way that you're going to have to sell music from now on is lots of music. The way that they did it in the 70s and the 60s. You need to be churning out music every fucking six months, man. You yeah. Know what I mean? On a regular <laughs> basis. When was our last release? I know, five, five, <laughs> six five years. Five years ago. <laughs> well, we're getting on that tomorrow. <laughs> hey, but here, here. We're bringing out two this year, so yeah, there you go. That album got us where we are now, all right? So now it had its function. We toured, we did 200,000 miles across America, 43 states. 450 shows promoting that album. It got us here, you know? We figure now, we have a fan base now, though, right? Okay, but since we released something, we actually have people that actually know who the fuck we are instead of just coming over here and just going like, yeah, I'm going to be a huge star. But nobody knows who the fuck you are. Yeah. So now so now you can do it more grassroots. You can get online. You can... We have email addresses for thousands of people across America that we're going to hit with this stuff and they'll buy it, you know what I mean? I mean people who like us, who've seen us, will support us and basically... You know, you don't need a major label to be a successful musician anymore. You can do it yourself. You just have to be smart about it and driven. And you have to be writing, you know, music all the time and do, taking every style that you can do, mix it together, take all of your products, get it out there, electronica, acoustic, everything. We're going to be throwing out every piece of music that we can from now on. We're thinking about doing a Hare Krishna style album <laughs> the next the next. <laughs> Yeah, how about a Gregorian chant album? I want to. Uh, cricket in here. He's singing along. So, <laughs> all right. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much. If you're thinking about moving out to LA to get a career in music, just don't. Just unpack your bag, <laughs> put your money back in the bank. Seriously, it sucks out here. Go to Boise, Idaho. I hear that's uh, really good. Like, really, if you can't keep up to these guys, because this is a good baseline of really what you guys are up against. Uh, yeah, just kill yourself. Seriously, <laughs> please don't don't move out here. We're, we're the like the third lowest state in the nation as far as you know everything's going. We're broke, so stay there. 
Anyways. <laughs> that was very, very, uh, very Only patriotic stuff. there. <laughs> hey, man, this is my state. It's hard enough for me to survive here. You should go on just after Arnold Schwarzenegger on that ad, like, welcome to California, you know? Shite, <laughs> <laughs> right, don't have our call. Now, now oh. response from... So anyways, once again, I had the pleasure of being with Mike at Spike, and I really needed a tissue earlier, because Lorraine just does that to me every damn uh, time. That sounds wrong, dude. Yeah. Well, what was that tissue for exactly? For a tear, <laughs> Jesus. You know what? You guys are just way out of control. That shit that's, stains, buddy. <laughs> I, I apologize for their crassness. Oh, yeah, our crassness, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, we hey, know, we I'm talking the word. Anyways, that's it. What, what, what you, what I'll mean? see you on probably the next one. My got, my got Spike promotions at gmail.com. Yeah. I wrote that. Flashrock.com! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah! No. Earth. I went somewhere else, and it was just total peace and joy.